Hey everybody, so I know I said I was going to be making a lot of videos, and I totally just fucked all over that one. Um, but I am going to tackle something today that we actually discussed at Gender Odyssey, and that's the inclusion of gender identity disorder in the uh, DSM, the Diagnostic and Statis Statistic Manual of, of Mental and Behavioral Health and Wellness and stuff like that. I, it's a big long name that's shortened to DSM for a reason. Um, now, for those who don't know, gender identity disorder is essentially what you're diagnosed with when you feel uncomfortable in your own gender. Um, this can take the form of many different things, including being genderqueer and being transsexual. Now, the big difference between being genderqueer and being transsexual is that transsexual is you identify as the opposite gender, whereas genderqueer is you just don't identify as the, the gender you were assigned at birth. Uh, that's the, the easiest definition I can think of. There are like six billion definitions out there that are all different, and if you really want to look into it, there are a bunch of sites I can recommend. Um, but I wanted to talk about this because I think this is this has really been wearing on my nerves, and I think about it a lot. And I think it's ridiculous that in the LGBT, being gay and being lesbian and being bisexual has been kept out of the DSM, but being transgendered is apparently a mental illness. It's the, the result of a mental illness, and I think that's completely backwards. I mean, how fair is that, that like one minority is mentally ill, but the other minority that's in the same community is fine? Now, I understand that a lot of people are probably going to be sitting there screaming, but there's a difference between sexual identity, sexual orientation, and gender identity, and there is. But the fact of the matter is that if your sexual, uh, sexual orientation is not the cause of a mental illness, then how is your gender identity? I don't know, I don't think that, I don't think it's fair that who I am, or what I am, is diagnosable. I don't know, I might be taking this all as like, I'm so vain and you can't really diagnose me and I'm so special, but, I don't know, I just don't like the idea that something so unimportant about me is, is a mental illness. I think that that's completely ridiculous. Um, right about the time that people think that this is a, a disorder is right about the time that they start thinking that it can be cured. Um, take it from someone who's been there, it can't. There is no cure, there's no pill that you can take that'll make it go away, there's no behavioral modification that makes it stop, it just is, you just are. And there's nothing wrong with it. something that's as simple as gender, and now they're saying that it's a disorder. And again, it's, they're saying that there are treatments. When you say that it's a disorder, you're implying that there are treatments. To say that there's disorder is to say that there's somehow order, but I don't think that anybody has any distinct understanding of how gender is or is supposed to be. So I don't think that it's okay to say that I'm disordered when... Who... Who understands gender? I want to see this epitome of correct gender, of ordered gender. I want to see this. Because the minute that I can see that, and I swear to God, if anybody points to Jersey Shore, I am going to explode and just spew massive, molten trans hate all over everybody, and everybody will die, and they'll be frozen in horrified positions by my molten hatred of them. But when I can see this model of what is a gender is supposed to be, then I'll, I'll accept that my gender isn't that. Until then, there is nothing to say that my gender isn't correct. That my gender is the right one, and that they're all fucked up. At some point, they have to realize that it's like being gay isn't a disease, being bisexual isn't a disease, being a lesbian isn't a disease, being transgendered isn't a disease. None of these things are disorders or diseases or instabilities of the mind. None of these things are wrong. They just are. They're different, and that's fine. But, yeah, I've ranted enough. I will talk to you guys later. You take care. Have lots and lots of fun. Don't cut your fingers open. There's a lot of blood, and it's very uncomfortable. I will talk to you later. Bye. Because the minute that I can see that, and I swear to God, if anybody points to Jersey Shore, I am going to explode and just spew massive, molten trans hate all over everybody, and everybody will die, and they'll be frozen in horrified positions by my molten hatred of them.